let's start with creating a folder. I mean, login. I'll open the VS Studio code. Okay. First, we create an HTML file. Uh, register dot html we're gonna create all the front end html css and javascript after that we will move to our back end part which is php development so let's create a css file too first Now we are going to first create a register.html, then we will create the login form. First, we create the register form. So here are all input fields are done and let's create a button. Let's create an H1 tag and register. Okay. Now let's see how it looks. Everything we need is here. Email address, password, password again. Okay, let's give it some styling. Basic styling completed. Okay. This is the name container field. direction column let's give it a height and width height uh, 730 pixel yeah 100 pH okay now it's perfect next direction column is not working okay no problem uh, I think we, should, we don't need this. Let's directly give our styling to form tag. Now 
No, it's good. Mm, let's assign a background to it. So I'm background color. It's, no, it's look good. Let's assign a background background color to its to white. Make it some transparent. Okay, not like that. Okay, no, it's good. Where's the sixty VW? Okay, right. Also sixty VW. Okay, now it's looking good. Let's design our inputs, input fields. Okay. Fifteen pixels. Yes. Thirty-five. Fifty-five. Seventy-five. No, it's too big. It's good. Outline none. Border also none. Border bottom two pixel solid black. Let's make it transparent. Okay, now it's good. Let's get a text align here. Center. It's good looking all those. Give it, let's give it padding. Padding left, ten pixel. Okay. Background color, white, and make it transparent. Best transparent. Okay. Margin top, fifteen pixel. Okay. I think uh, let's give H1 tag margin. Margin bottom 15 pixels. And margin top 10 pixels. Okay, it's quite good to give our button some studying. Just to set a height, three pixel at least. Okay, now all looking good. Let's decrease the height of form. Okay. Now it's good. Let's add some JavaScript now. Our HTML design and CSS design for the register form is completed. Uh, let's add a script tag. Okay. Uh, let's assign it ID. ID button. Element variety but uh, now I add an on, on click feature on this button okay btn dot add event listener click now let's create a function so everything will go as we want here so let's create a function with name checked or uh, checked is good check. okay now let's declare this function let's use if else If 
vertical form name my form now my form dot email dot value if the value is not assigned to our email address input field so let's alert the user alert please enter email address and return false here okay now i'll save if the user leaves the password field empty so we should create an alert for that also name password name password dot value let's give, give it some space okay now alert user Please enter password. Okay, now it's good and then return false. If the password section and current password doesn't match. So let's create an another alert. Let's copy paste it. Here, not equals to again a name C password. Okay, here C password. So this happens alert. Password doesn't match. Let's change the with this okay now it's good return again false and now uh, everything is okay email field okay first right slide let's write else else uh, the form should get submitted so document dot my form Submit. Submit very good. Okay. Submit. Return now true. Okay. We have created our register.html fully. Now let's get to the browser and check it. For once. Okay. Uh, it's looking kind of ugly. Let's decrease the style to 50. Now let's see. Okay. Fifty not forty-five. Okay, it's good. If I enter button, let's create one more value in a script file. That uh, if the user doesn't fill the email address, the cursor, the pointer should be always here. And if the user doesn't put doesn't give the value to the password to the input okay let's create first document dot my form focus Now create this variable to not the password. Create it again. C password. Okay, register.html is now complete. Now we should create a login.html. What if we just remove the height? 
Thank you, Knight. No, looking good. Okay, uh, login dot HTML. Let's copy our. In that same file. Okay. Uh, let's remove here. Confirm password six and now. Seventy eight. Okay, now it's good. Let's add a script tag. Just copy from there. No. Email password value. Okay, let's remove this else statement. What happened? Let's remove this too. Okay, now this looks good now. Let's check it once. It's looking good too. Now let's create our PHP. Change this. Uh, we are going to change this HTML file into PHP. Okay. First, we are going to start our jam. Let's close this and rename the files. Rename log.php. Name it to .php. Okay, let's open our jam, connect our servers. Let's get to the admin panel. Okay. Let's first create our new database here. Database name, I think user will be user. Let's create. Okay. Our table name, user. Okay, user details. Let's create three column only. First one, let's make serial number. Auto increment on. Length values uh, three to four. First one name email. Varkar. Second password. Okay. Work here. 35 digits. 35. Okay. Now save it. Okay. Now let's check our connection. Create a connection first. Then we check it. Let's create a variable username. Oh, sorry. Username is the root. This is by default set. Password, we didn't set any password. And the database name. What database name is? User, I think. Yes, it's user. Now check our connection. Create a variable with con equals to i square i 
connect server name username password db name okay and if it will not if it's not connected let's check it out if not connected uh, let's add a dollar and die MySQL connected earlier. Now let's write our required code. So we have done the post method here, we have method post. Let's first create a variable email and assign the value from it in post, post, okay, email and then password. Post password. Create a variable. Select and what we have to put. Let's find out. Get into the get into our database user. Open the user details table, and here you will find insert button. Click on it. And just insert any value serial number one email em at the rate em dot em password let's write em again only one email so just copy this line copy it and then paste it here. Let's change this name into SQL. Okay. And now let's see here again. Select from user details. Copy it again. And create a variable with select name then put the data here now from users ok SQL remove that SM and one we don't require that now it's good and uh, Replace this value with our new variable email and this with password. Okay. Select from user details here. Now let's continue this. Right. Where email equals to dollar email and assign a logic operator here and password equals to password we write this earlier because so 
so that uh, there will be no spelling mistake email is our email is the name and these are the stored value in our database these are these are the inputs okay let's add a parenthesis here in the layer 2 okay now let's write from here let's create a variable naming result my skill i query check connection first then select if this will check if the user um, user data is already present in our database or not if the user database is present in our database and he want to register again so we will echo him user already exist user already exists okay and else if the data is not present in our database then we will move it to here and now if this refers to true we will be going you are successfully registered and we direct him to the login page header location login.php okay let's add a else statement to go oh, error and the reason close the connection let's you uh, make this form working by adding a if statement here on the top close it here 
now this is all set let's create a let's make one two four hour login dot php okay now control plus b we don't want to insert the value now So let's delete this all. And create a new if else statement. My SQL design. the location here you want to be direct else we go and value the mirror or password okay now it's all done let's check the working of all Closed automatically. What happened? Okay, now it's working again. Okay, first we should move this folder. Here you have to form. First, fill it here. Password. Must be type result string name twenty five line. Okay. Let's open that folder first. We are getting error in twenty five. Okay, here is the problem. Here, type result. Okay, and login two. Okay, here is the result. Right. Okay. Now let's try it again. Give it one more, one more shot. Refresh it. Test. Test. We got. Okay, we didn't change this button's name. Let's change it. Login. Now let's replace it once more. Okay. Now here I will show you that the data we entered there will show here. Okay. See here. Test the great test or test. It's working now. If you try to log in with uh, other details like uh, test, 
and password and I think login invalid email or password okay now this form is in full working stage you can edit it change it as per your regards you can add the head location section here and redirect to any page you want okay guys have some fun